We got Lotto, man. So Lotto, she gets on The Breakfast Club to reveal that a male artist was holding a feature clearance against her because she insisted on keeping things professional and he did not according to her story. So Charlemagne the guy speculated that she was speaking on Kodak Black, but she refused to say the name. How serious do you guys think this issue is for female artists? I guess it comes with, with territory. I mean, as messed up as it sounds, I felt like it's to be expected being in that landscape. It, females are not necessarily the most respected in that workspace. So it's kind of like, I think it's weirder how she decides to tell the story around the time of her album release. Cause I feel like you just, you're just doing it for the clout. Granted, he, whether he did it or not, I feel like there's a lot more scenarios where that happens for female rappers. So it's kind of like, you know what I'm saying? The timing of everything this looks kind of messy, but I mean, I go crazy, I guess. We get, we get your album numbers up. Mm. Like, it sucks that you gotta, that they have to deal with that. But I feel like it's gonna be with all women, you're gonna get tried like, in the industry. I, I, and by like, guys, it's by like that. Guys, it's no, because it's a male dominated sport, like, you know what I mean? So of mm-hmm. course the dude's gonna be trying to try you up and see how far they can push you, like, especially that's literally a part game. of the rap game. Like, and it's not a good part of it, but it's just something that's gonna kind of come up, of course. Yeah, you know, um, man, so look, not, you, not you talking about it like it's the first time this happened to you. Like, come on, she, now, like, like yeah. bro, man, and then, expose look, him. Then, like, but then, nah, expose but, him. Look who ask, you know, and then look who you ask. That's Kodak Black, bro. Come on now, like Kodak. Like, come on now, like. You know what I'm saying, I was supposed to name drop, remember. Man. You, I did say code. I do be coming off a little rapey. So I'm we, just saying that we, but you, but you're expecting just the other that. episode, we was talking about how this man was like, oh, I got to bust him. Mm-hmm. I got to bust she him. on my label. I got to bust him. But, but so I'm saying you, you expect the common decency for a female out of that nigga. Come on now. Mm. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Let's she should have named right dropped him, man. She should have named have, dropped him. She should have. I, I, that point, I feel like, go all the way. I feel like you could, it could be anybody. You just, it's kind of like cloud chasing. Yeah, like, come on now. It like, could have been like, anybody. Could be Everybody was speculating that it was Kodak Black. But one thing, as a society, uh-huh. we all fucked up. We all fucked up for thinking it was Kodak Black first. But I even, like, I really think it. I mean, we didn't necessarily think that, you know. I, I did. Kind of I realized it was. First of all, Charlemagne thought that shit. I ain't gonna lie, when, when, when she said it, I, I thought Kodak too. I, I wouldn't trust me. I thought Kodak yeah, first. Yeah, it's just main fault right here. I wouldn't even think it like that. It could have been that. anybody. Niggas was saying, oh, it's 21 Savage. Niggas was saying uh, Key Glock and some shit. Like, bro, niggas was just naming niggas, bro. It's seeing like, it just seemed like one of the stories <laughs> that have been Kodak. Everybody like, who oh, might want to hit Lotto. Yeah. And I mean, don't get me wrong, Lotto is bad, though. Yeah, she's like from the A, y'all. She's from the A. She's from the Legendary. city. Legendary. No, she's not. Go do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Love, joy, nigga. Clay, Clay, coach, real Clay, coach, shit. Get there, relax, dog. Yeah, all right. but all right. So days later, Kodak Black's producer comes to Kodak's defense while exposing that he is indeed the artist that Lotto was hinting at. So the Actually, man came out and was like, nah, don't try to pull that bullshit on my artist. You trying to act all, you trying to use the sympathy card and, you but know, wasn't you want that, to come. Wasn't that inaccurate though? Because I, I, I thought, I saw I saw the thing where it was like, he was saying, he was saying Kodak Black was done wrong in the situation, but it, but he wasn't the one being the, the, being the nasty nigga. Like it was some weird like mixed report like that that I saw. Mm. Wait, so who was it then? If it wasn't Kodak? I don't know who it was. I just know that yeah, Kodak, Kodak tried to come out on Twitter Black and say it wasn't him. him. Yeah, yeah, like Kodak, yeah, Kodak Black a lot of the situation, but mm-hmm. I don't think it, um, that whole situation is weird. I feel like you know just said who the fuck it was, honestly. At this point, like, I just At feel like point. I feel like you create you create too much speculation <laughs> and Kodak gets affected whether he did it or not. Imagine that the album came out and it wasn't even him. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of crazy because he had no business coming out and saying that. Yeah, we might have speculated that it was Kodak, but he didn't have to say anything about it. You should just kept that shit on. Like, hey, like, I don't even whoever, know what y'all talking about. Whoever smelt it, dealt it. <laughs> no, for yeah. real, like a hit dog with Holla, for real. Like, he came out of nowhere. It was like, nah, that wasn't me. I don't know her. Like, dog, you on the album. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. So, um, boss. yeah, I don't know, man. This is tough, man. This is tough. Yeah. She should have name dropped whoever it was so we can actually yeah. go at them. But she can't um, say, man. Word on the street that be. it was Kodak. That's what they say. I just though, hold bro. One thing I'm saying is I hope the project is good for all this like extra ass shit. You know what I'm saying? Is like, it can you will it actually get reviewed by the Real Matter podcast? I don't, I don't want to review it. Y'all, y'all feel like <laughs> <sitting> here, <listen laughs> to this? 
Hell no. I don't know, man. I don't know. Respectfully, I, I don't Going know. back to those <laughs> comments. Bye.